Okay, are you guys ready? I think I um, there's no like cool way to come on on Google Hangouts after you you post your screen like this, and then I just I gotta it's so unglamorous. Hold on a second. Okay, so first I could introduce myself like pretend like it's a big thing, ladies and gentlemen. Live from Baloney Studios in downtown Portland. This is the live Google Hangout vlog anniversary. And then, yeah, then I got to do this. And then what? Oh, yeah, yeah then I got to go to Google Hangouts. See what I'm, see what I'm saying? And, stop, and then you hit stop. And then you're, and then, and then now, whoa! Hey, there we are. Are we on now? And then... Then I gotta go into here and then switch microphones because I got a different microphone that I use when I'm doing this. And then I gotta shut this microphone off. And then, whoa, am I covered in cat hair? I think I am. Wow, this is uh, way too, I don't even need, see this is where you adjust your hair, your wigs. Look, there's there's like, there's all kinds of stuff going on here. You don't need that. Like, what are, are we ready to do this? No, I don't think so. All right, good thing that nobody's watching, <laughs> right? Uh, welcome to my vlog anniversary. Can you hear me? Look, there's hairs. See, this is like a this is a problem. <laughs> this is like, <laughs> this is not what you want to do. Is it better if I just turn the dang lights off? I mean, that seems way too much. Hi. See, I feel more comfortable this way. Actually, it, yeah. There you go. Yes, I, I'm having I'm having a delicious beverage. Are you? Uh, See, okay, so I had, I got, I got pizza. I got uh, two slices of pizza from the pizza place near my house, and um, I realized, well, I can't eat the pizza while I'm on camera because, uh, you know, I'm, I'm doing this in front of a camera, and what am I gonna do? <laughs> and eat the entire time. So uh, I went ahead and uh, polished those things off before I got on uh, the, the, the YouTube's. But here I am. If you're joining me now, thank you so much. It uh, really is crazy. I've been doing a daily video um, uh, on YouTube for a whole year now. And it's an experiment uh, to see if uh, I could convince a couple of people to watch. And it seems to have worked. At least two people watch each episode. So <laughs> it's just, I feel like I've reached my goals. So um, it's exciting. Now, the thing is, is you can ask me questions. I, have, uh, I asked on a lot of different social medias uh, earlier today because usually on Thursdays we do uh, Ask Marconi. So you can ask me all kinds of stuff and I'll do my best to answer uh, these, uh, these queries you may have about me or about vlogging or YouTubing or whatever. Uh, I'll be happy to answer them. I hope you can hear me. I'm just making sure, right? Because okay, this is, this microphone is hot. It's live, right? It says, that we're getting uh, the thing, but I don't know. So if there are any troubles, how will I find out? I gotta look at things, right? So if I look in, uh, where do I where do I look for comments? Uh, that's always a fun. Uh, Google could make this a little bit easier. It is cool though. I mean, it's not uncool that I can do this, but see that whole vloggery live pre-roll thing? That was meant to be a lot smoother. And for whatever reason, it got to like eight minutes, and then it wouldn't run anymore. I don't, I don't know. Nothing, nothing ever, ever works the way you plan it, does it? And that's that's the that's the beauty of going live. Um, so that, I'm in my apartment in downtown Portland. Uh, that is my pizza. I'm ha having a beverage. I hope you are too. Do you do you like? Have you tried this kind? It's a dead guy ale. It's it's very popular, and uh, I enjoy it. I I was like. Dead guy ale. Oh, come on already, Portland. Get, keep getting weirder and weirder. But I tried it, and I'm like, oh, my God, that's the best beer I've ever had. So it's it's one of my favorites. So, yeah. Mmm. A beer presto, buon appetito. Um, so live vloggery is, is a lot of fun. And by the way, if you're watching, let's see. Uh, I tweeted out the link on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. Oh crap, I forgot to do it on Instagram. Well, looks like I'm gonna have to, we're gonna have to, okay, here we go. Here's what I'm gonna do, everybody smile, I'm gonna, we're gonna do a video for Instagram, okay? Um, here we go, I'm just gonna, so Instagram is gonna see me seeing you, and then I'm gonna post this video. 
Uh, hi, Instagram. We are on uh, YouTube Live Google Hangout right now. Go to the link in my bio on here, here on Instagram, and you can click the link and join us for the fun. Thank you. You think that's, uh, that, was, that was lame? Let's see how that turned out. Let's see. Uh, hi, Instagram. We are on uh, YouTube Live Google Hangout right now. Go to the link in my bio. On here, here on Instagram, and you can click the link right. and join us. The question is, what filter do I use? Uh, oh, not that one. On, uh, I I've never actually read the names of the the things. The All right, how about Maven? Oh yeah, sure, Maven. I think is the one. All right. Uh huh. Thank you. Or uh, Gingham. How about Gingham? What do you think? This is annoying. It just it won't stop now. Can you? Okay, can we stop it while we're just deciding on filter? Okay, that's that's a lovely filter. And then, um, oh, no, watch this, idiots. No, I don't like to call people that. I'm just, I'm, not, I'm a little bit nervous. I just, you know, you do watch, join, no, watch, join. I just, I just burp. Did I just burp? Yeah, I'm in my own home. I'm very relaxed. I've had a beverage right here. And uh, yeah, that's the way it should be, right? <sighs> this is going to be a fun hangout. So, what are you guys doing? I know uh, some of my friends are on the East Coast, and it's like six o'clock there. And England, I have a friend in England right now, and I think she's watching. And it's like eight o'clock at night or something, or ten. No, it's eight hours difference. So what is that? Five. It's eleven o'clock at night. Well, it's not super late, but if you have to get up early, it is. Okay. Uh, so uh, hi, Beth. Gloss galore is there. I don't know if she likes me to refer to her as her real name and her social media name together. But anyway, she makes YouTube videos and she's awesome and she supports me and has been here for almost like only a few months after I started at the beginning. It's crazy. I started a YouTube um, a couple of years, uh, maybe a year and a half before I did the daily vlogs. And I just, I, I, I once a week I did a video and it just wasn't enough. So I decided I, I better do more. So I, I better, okay, I need to focus. I have to, I'm going to, I got to put this on Instagram before I say any more. Okay. So Instagram. Uh, oh, that uh, Jess is uh, Snapchatting me. Let's see. Um, all right. Uh, let's see. What do I want to say? Join, join my live Google. I'm a great speller. Hang out. Uh, link is in my bio. All right, there. That's there. We go. Now we're talking. Oh wait. I, so if you don't want to watch me say all that stuff, let's see. There it posts. Okay, it posted. Uh, hi Instagram. We are on uh, YouTube Live Google Hangout right now. Go to the link in my bio. On here, here on Instagram, and you can click the link and join us for the fun. Thank you. Uh, hi, Instagram. There you go. It'll just repeat till till your mom uh, wants to kill you. Uh, let's see. Why would your mom want to kill you? That's I don't know why I said that. Um, all right. Let's see. Oh, let's see. Glass galore. Uh, not pizza, but snacks for the Mark Money party. You know, I was gonna get some snacks, but I just realized I had pizza, and the slices are like gigantic. And I uh, seriously, I was I was gonna only eat one, but I had a really early breakfast, and I was running around getting stuff ready, uh, you know, trying on wigs and stuff like that uh, for today's uh, thing. And I, I was so damn hungry, I I couldn't I couldn't wait any longer. I thought I was gonna have one slice for the, for lunch and then uh, ha save a slice for dinner. And I was so hungry, I had them both. So uh, yeah, so uh, what's you know how many how many times do you do a do you do your first year of a uh, youtubery, you know? By the way, these are some glasses that aren't really my real glasses, but uh, should they be? <laughs> what? I, I, I have a bunch of random props just sitting around my house for uh, maybe there's a YouTube uh, video I've done or something I've tried. Uh, don't look at my, I need to tone up. I know. Uh, I'm a mess. Here we go. Uh, let's see. There, There's, oh yeah, le these, these are I use I like these, but man, they really make my ears stick out. 
I'm a fashionista. All right, so uh, yeah, so what are we doing? We're, you can ask. Okay, stop that. All right, we got the the Instagram thing. So it's a, a year of vlog anniversary. I was in Denver when I started these uh, videos. Now I live in Portland, and uh, it's been crazy. Should I, should I check out to see what Jess is saying? Let's see. I got a I got a couple of messages on that's Snapchat, by the way. Let's see if Jess is leaving a message because if she leaves a video, oh, it says press and view. Should I? All right, I I'm just gonna. This is going to be a fun hangout. So, what are you guys doing? I know. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> so, if you're on Snapchat, you can uh, you can you can message me there. Should we should we tell Snapchat that we're live? Okay, let's see. All right, now Snapchat. If you're on Snapchat, how will you get to the link? Well, if you're on Snapchat, you're probably a little bit more savvy than the average person on the internet. Wow. Okay. Okay. Hey, Snapchat, how are you? This is me live on my Google Hangout right now saying hello. And uh, my links are at on Twitter. Hey, Snapchat, how are you? This is All right, I don't even, uh, who, who cares? All right. <laughs> this is the best. I hope you guys are having a good day because, honestly, like today started out really strange because I do a lot of voice work from home. And I was like, oh, I got to do all this stuff before I get on live. And you know, uh, three o'clock is is almost it's towards the end of my day, but it's sort of the middle of my day because a lot of times, because I procrastinate, I'm really I haven't even yet started doing the daily video or something by three o'clock, and that's just when I start planning. Okay, this is what you want to do. I have ideas written out, and then suddenly I, I, I slam it all together and, and make the magic that you see before your eyes each and every day. Uh, do you watch the videos? I mean, if you don't, that's fine. Because it's all, I've been doing this for a year, and I've been doing it more for me, uh, because I needed to learn. You know, doing a daily YouTube video is is not easy, because most of the time you're just trying anything. You're just throwing stuff at the wall. Because I've done radio my whole life, so I know I can make content every day. Because that's that's not an issue. I know I can edit something and put it together each and every day because I've done it my whole adult life. But uh, put it, putting it on YouTube and getting uh, – it's, it's like starting over in a way because radio is one thing. You get on the radio and people will just are listening to that station anyway, and, and if they end up liking you, then yay. But if not – like so YouTube is like you're making your own video channel – that nobody was watching before, and now you've got to convince them to check it out. So that's it's really difficult because you know even people that would listen to you on the radio aren't necessarily YouTube friendly. Like they don't they'll watch a cat video, but they're not necessarily looking for you to talk to them on a video every day. I mean, let's face it, I am a visual treat. <laughs> just just kidding. No, that's actually a joke. So I, here's here's the main reasons I didn't start YouTube a lot sooner. I used to be a lot heavier. Now I'm I've gained some weight back, and I'm working on getting back to my fighting weight again, uh, which is a continuous struggle. I mean, there's pizza in the world. I mean, how can you, uh, you know, how can you lose thirty pounds when you got pizza? So and beer. This is basically like drinking bread, <laughs> liquid bread. It's delicious. So I, you know, so there's a lot of uh, things that'll hold you off, but. Uh, my main thing is like uh, my appearance is never quite exactly like I want it to be. And so I was very insecure about putting myself on YouTube. And I thought, well, I'm probably boring as hell and, you know, that kind of stuff. So because I'm used to being like you know, on radio, if if I didn't feel like things were going well, I could just hit a button and go to a commercial or play a song or something on YouTube. It's all about you and your editing skills, you know. And so uh, that's what I'm trying to learn in the first year. The second year, I'm actually going to try to get some viewers. <laughs> Let's see how that goes. <clears throat> I, I really don't know why I'm laughing like this. I, I'm excited. Uh, I've had a beverage. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm live. This is like my live first official stream. And every time I – do you notice when I raise my hand that the lighting changes? Well, look at that. I got magic. And this is weird. If you're, if, I was, if you're in front of the camera and you're doing this, it's like there's such a delay – but I'm seeing my hand go up and down in a, in a delayed fashion. So it feels like there's another person. I'm looking into an opposite mirror in front of me. Very, very confusing for a dyslexic person. Um, 
No, but I, I, I just wanted to say, for those of you who have been watching my videos, at least the two of you, it, it is the coolest thing ever because I've gotten to connect with a lot of people um, and, and uh, a lot of people that have inspired me and that kind of stuff. Just it really is cool. YouTube is awesome and um, it, it, it gives you that hope of uh, maybe one day just being your own boss instead of working for the man. You know what I mean? I, I love radio, uh, but I would much uh, rather work just full time for myself um, doing YouTube videos. So uh, it, it, it kind of happened where I was kind of forced into it. <laughs> like I was, I was planning on giving it like a two or three year kind of, okay, we'll do this for two or three years while you have a job. But then I got uh, I got a surprise, and um, YouTube became my full time job. So here I am. It's exciting. It's fun, and I love it. And I think you have to approach uh, YouTube, doing it and making videos every day. Be, like it because you want to, not because there's a possibility of a future in it. Um, the reason people watch you is because they enjoy it. Now the problem with being a full time YouTuber before you're maybe ready is uh, you get up sometimes in the morning and you do not have any thought of wanting to make a video. And it's it's kind of weird because it's, it seems fun. It seems like, wow, that must be a great job to do. But there are days when you just you just want to watch, uh, you know, a, a marathon of uh, Saved by the Bell and leave and you close a bit. So then, then what you do is you do uh, like, a, hey, I don't feel like it today. I just, but I just, ding, I'm in my video. See ya. So there, there are times when you're phoning it in, it feels bad, but I, I don't really feel like I've done that a lot. Like there's a couple days like that, the day after New Year's, where I'm like, whoa, I didn't. Hey, how you doing? But uh, there are other times, and those are the videos that get the most views. By the way, the videos where you're just like, I. So that that's when like your buddies are like, hey, I've never watched one of your videos. It's, oh yeah, you put a lot of effort into that, and the ones that you like think, oh, this is gonna be awesome. It's like three people <laughs> checking it out. So, I I love um, the whole aspect of YouTube because it's uh, very humbling, first of all, and not a lot of people in uh, traditional media get it. Um, uh, people that do YouTube videos every day, I have so much respect for you, so much more respect even after uh, doing this for a year and uh, you know there's there's a lot that goes into it and and, and I've done uh, tried every kind of version of a video that I could think of and I'm probably going to keep evolving because what I'm doing right now in a year probably won't be the same kind of videos I'm creating but I plan to do a video every day for at least five years um, and if at one point, I, I stopped doing that. It'd only be like, I'll take the weekend off or something. You know what I mean? But it, it's such a part of my life now. After doing it for a year, it's kind of like, yeah, I can do this. So what's like Forrest Gump? I'll do it. I just kept running. So I'll just keep running. I'll keep going. And, um, you know, hopefully I'll be more pleased with the way I look on camera and stuff like that. That's the hard part is like you, you, you shoot the video and you think, Oh, this is pretty good. I looked okay today. And then you start editing and you're like, what is, what is going on right here? And then, and then you get to the book. Cause I'm not like a, a real super vain person, but then I, I start looking online like, okay, what do I do? Do I need to start, uh, you know, putting on wig glue under here to ooh, do something? What's going on? I haven't ever had, this problem really before and then he's like oh you maybe you're eating too much salt maybe it's a hereditary thing maybe you need to go outside maybe you haven't had enough vegetables maybe you could hear some concealer you want to try some makeup like oh. it's weird because you're in front of a camera and the 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 thing you got is your face that starts it out and then the content is what you got to do and so and and I applaud uh, women who can put their face together every day or, you know, do that kind of stuff to, to, for either like a beauty guru or uh, anyone in just general, like uh, women who do that. Cause I, I'm always like, God, you know, it's not really socially acceptable for me to wear uh, makeup, but I really need it. <laughs> so I don't know. It's, you know, the thing is, is like then also making a video every day, you stop worrying about that so damn much. And uh, that's that's what I hope to do. Let's let's see. Oh, so I got some questions from you guys, and uh, you can use the hashtag on Twitter, blah blah blah, whatever. 
you can use uh, BYOP is, I guess, what we're doing. Let's see. Um, can you see our cues and hangouts? Oh, well, there's there's cues in the hangouts too. Okay, so I think I have to go to Q and A, right? And then then what? Okay, there we go. Okay, there we go. Now I can see the questions. Okay, I got it. All right. Okay, so let's see. Yep, we hear you. Oh, okay. Now I've oh, now I've turned on the chat. Now you're in trouble. Uh, you're doing great. But I'm not sure you can see these cues. Uh, sadly, I'm still at work. Oh, well, that, but yeah, there's, here's what you do. Blow off work. Let's see. That's, a, oh, man, that's trispirational. And I, I, I put my mouse, my thing over her browser. That sounds, that sounds wrong. She's got two, she's got cute dogs on her profile. Before uh, I was downstairs uh, buying beverages and, um, I was waiting in line and I wanted to vlog this. By the way, there will be a vlog um, of behind the scenes and stuff tomorrow. That's what I'm going to put up for the video. So you'll get to see kind of what my day was like, my celebrating, you know, first year um, vlog anniversary. And uh, so I'm so mad that I didn't get to vlog it because I had so much in my hands. I had, I had uh, beverages, I had pizza in my backpack. But this guy in line in front of me, and he actually lives in my building, he... Uh, had the cutest uh, English bulldog, baby, 10 week old, and it was just in his arms. And it was, I'm not going to impress and do an impression because that, that's pathetic. But uh, it, it was so adorable. I'm just like, I don't even want to do a hangout today. I just want to hang out with this dog. And I wanted to vlog it, but I had everything in my hands. And but the guy was talking to me. And, you know, most of the time, I don't really like it when uh, strangers engage me, especially in line or whatever, because you're kind of trapped, right? But I would have talked to this guy all day. I think he was, uh, I think he was an English guy because he had an accent. Maybe it was, I don't know. I was mesmerized by his dog because the dog was upside down looking at me and sniffing my, my pizza because I had the, the pizza in my, my hand. Oh, wow. So anyway, I, I was, that was upsetting because I really wanted the, the world to see all the cuteness that was there. And um, so do I, do I keep, does this go, does, do I get us keep seeing the, as the comments come in, okay, there's there's someone, uh, Miss uh, JJ Babbles. If you don't watch uh, JJ Babbles on the internet, she's a, a YouTuber who who has uh, been my friend from the beginning. Before I even started doing daily videos, she was listening to me do uh, podcasts, and we're, we've been friends. I think from Vine, we met each other. So that's the beautiful thing about the social media, and so I, I love that uh, people will hang out and watch and do their thing. And I hope that uh, th this is somewhat entertaining. Let's see. Where are the, where are the I got all kinds of the, co the questions. What, uh, let's see, here's one. What made you decide to do daily videos? I don't know. I just, I've always wanted to do something in television, like in a video form. And I've always studied people that do it. I mean, when I was a kid, I wanted to be the next David Letterman. And uh, then I got into radio. And I thought, well, maybe I could transition. And I just never did. And, I, I you know, I, it's weird because I shouldn't have waited as long as I did to do YouTube. I just didn't know how. And now that you can, you know, basically you can take your phone and make a your life on the Internet. I mean, it's so easy. And editing is really simple. It just it, 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 it's so simple now that even a dumb guy like me can do it. So uh, basically doing daily videos, I just thought, well, I set out a goal. I was like, you know. I really think I can do this. Let's just see what happens. And, uh, and then I went from there. I mean, you know, and I had a job that was on at night and it was uh, really kind of, I just had a lot of free time to kind of hang out. I had a full-time job and I was like, Hey, why not? Why don't you put my life? And I, here's the thing. I think my life is pretty boring. I'm not a rock star. I don't uh, get to talk to celebrities every day. I don't uh, go, I'm not on tour. I don't have, I do have cats, which is part of the game. You know what I mean? But uh, like, for instance, Charles Trippy, the reason people like to watch Charles Trippy on, because uh, he is a rock star. He goes on tour with a band and he's got thousands and uh, millions of fans across the world who recognize him from doing YouTube. And uh, he's got a, he's got a pretty girlfriend and uh, cute dogs and he's got a fun life. 
me, I am a like introvert. I sit here and come up with weird things to do on the internet, and so I don't even know that I'm the best subject for my own videos. You know, what I, mean? <laughs> I I like turning the camera on other people more than myself, but I think, and I think, uh, you know, as I progress in year and the year two, I think that's my goal is to do more stuff that is vlog worthy, but not doing stuff to vlog living my life and vlogging what I do. But the, the hard part, being a daily a vlogger or a YouTuber, is, uh, is trying to like just make videos because you want to make videos and make them fun, but not doing stuff just so you can get some footage. And, and, and that's the hard, really, it really is hard. Like when somebody invites me to go someplace, and I know they're the kind of people that don't mind me shooting video, I get excited because I'm like, oh, something more than me just standing around in my apartment today. You know, and I don't know. It that sounds might sound lame, but it's true. Like when you make daily videos, you're like, I want something different tomorrow. I will, you know, I should go on a walk and just film that. Like it, anything to get me out of the apartment. You know, <laughs> so uh, it's it's that, that's the thing. Making daily videos is a decision you make, but then you you have to make a video every day. And sometimes those video ideas, I mean, you know. They're, they're not all going to be the best thing you've ever seen in your life. Sometimes you make a great video. Sometimes it's just like, oh, huh, cool. But I'll tell you this. Even with the you make the bad videos and you make do this every day, it's like you're exercising. It's like you're you're getting better and better. Well, <laughs> I don't know if you saw yesterday's video. You know what I mean? Yeah, but you're the the you know, the point is to try and the to maybe get better is what you're trying to do. Let's see. Here's another one. Uh, where are you from originally? Well, uh, Neptune, but then I was sent in a time capsule. No, I, I am from Iowa originally, and it's not something that I'm embarrassed about, but again, it seems kind of like, eh, okay, I, it's a very small town I was born in, but I, I'm, I was raised in Indianola, which is just south of the capital of Iowa, which is Des Moines. And the weird thing is the more and more you live, you meet more and more people that you're surprised are from Iowa and then realize that's the, really the only thing you like. It's an icebreaker. Like, Oh, you're from Iowa too. Congratulations. And then, and then that's it. <laughs> Cause there, there's a, there's on a train. She, that's her, I think Twitter name, right? On a lore, on a Lori. Anyway, one of my favorite uh, people on the internet, she's uh, I think, I think her and Steve, Sarah, Zaragoza or uh, buddies. She uh, does uh, stuff and she's from like Dubuque, Iowa or something like that. And I get excited. I don't know why I get excited because, okay, then then that no moan is over. I haven't been to Iowa in a year. Like, I, I can't even remember the last time I went to Iowa because uh, my grandmother's uh, passed away. And my mom doesn't live there anymore. And, and my cousins and stuff, I have a, some cousins that still live there, but. Um, I just don't ever make it back. I, I kind of need, I, I want to say I need to, but I don't want to. Not because of them. I want to see them, but I'd rather see them here. You know what I mean? Fine, I'll go back to Iowa. Anyway, <laughs> here's another one. Uh, what is the hardest part of doing YouTube full time? Well, I think I kind of mentioned that. Is like you get up some days and you don't necessarily want to do a video. And you also don't want to come off phony and make a video just because you've you've obligated yourself to make a daily video. I mean, it'd be easy, though, to go, I don't feel like making a video today. Nah. But I thought, well, you know, the whole idea is it's a challenge. You try coming up with something creative to do for people to watch every day and then promoting it on Facebook and having, like, two people click like. That is the it, – it's – if you don't want to do something, that would make you want to quit right there because those are people that claim, that, oh, I listen to you on the radio. I love blah, blah, blah. I can't wait till you're back on. And then you make a video and they're like, yeah. It's very devastating um, at times. But you know what? That's – it's kind of what I, I – I can only liken it to someone doing an open mic because people that do comedy really have to love doing stand-up comedy because – you go into a room and people hate you and you're telling jokes that you've crafted and thought, Oh, this is my, my babies. And people are just like, 
Can we bring okay, if it, the spin the, the the poodles or whatever is coming up next besides this guy, and and that's kind of the only thing I can liken it to on YouTube is being willing to fail a lot and doing it every day and not seeing like oh I've got a four thousand views on this video oh I've got ten thousand subscribers because it doesn't happen overnight and not to everyone at least and I think that's easy because you know a lot of the youtubers that say well my first year I had 10,000 followers and I'm like you were on YouTube when there were like 50 people making daily video or 50 people doing videos and I think wow now everybody's has a YouTube channel you know so uh, it's it's very hard because you know in radio I, I was raised my whole adult life doing radio where if you don't have ratings you don't have a job so you know YouTube is a different thing like you know you just want to hone your craft get keep getting better and I think that's that's it the hardest part about doing YouTube full-time is doing it full-time <laughs> oh here's another one what is your favorite show currently and there's so many good shows I just watched um, on Netflix the end indestructible unbreakable Kim what's the unbreakable Kimberly something <laughs> <laughs> Tina Fey is an executive producer on it and it's a really brilliant show and it, and it's kind of it has that same tone as like 30 rock and you can kind of you can definitely tell Tina Fey is involved and it's it's really funny unbreakable Kimmy something it, it, anyway watch that I love house of cards uh, um, what's what's another show? Oh, Better Call Saul. The, there's so many shows that I just can't choose one. Um, let's see, who's your favorite YouTuber? Oh my, that's another question too. Like that's even harder. Well, I'll just say this: I was inspired to start doing daily vlogs by Shay Carl. He's um, a YouTuber that started out. He was 300 pounds. He decided in 2009 that he was going to do daily videos, and then along the way, he, um, you know, got uh, you know 100 million f subscribers and 200 million, and watched his channel grow. And he got into the gym and started eating healthy, and he lost like you know like 250 pounds or something, a lot of weight. And then um, he joined this network. Of uh, people that just you know four or five uh, YouTubers that wanted to make content, and they made Maker Studios, and from that, they uh, just like a year ago sold it to Disney for five hundred million dollars. So Shay went from doing videos to five years of doing daily videos to. Pro I mean, if he wanted to quit and just retire now, he definitely could. I'm well. I don't want to speak for him. I don't know that, but um, it, it seems like he's doing okay. A very inspirational guy. He's run marathons. He's all kinds of things. He inspired Charles Trippy to do daily videos, and Charles Trippy is like a month behind him. So they've been. Charles has been. So Shay at year five stopped doing daily videos and went to like a five day a week schedule, and now he's like a three day a week schedule. Charles Trippy has been doing a video every day for six years consecutively without missing a day uh, that guy is amazing love him uh, love his uh, girlfriend Allie the dogs his family I mean he's got you learn when you watch these videos that you it's not just about one person you start being introduced to other people that's what I want to get to the point of doing where I do collabs or you see other people that you like in my videos and you start watching their channels and that kind of thing that's that's why it's like hard uh, being in Portland because there's only like a handful of people that I know here that actually do YouTube videos and they're pretty busy. So I, I don't want to be that creepy guy that's like, let's do a collab together. Come to my apartment. You know, it's, it's weird. So, um, I, so Shay Carl for sure. Uh, Charles Trippy, who on top of all the stuff he does, he's in a band called We the Kings. He plays base for them they go on tour all the time he had a brain tumor and uh, it still is on chemo like uh, he does the chemo every day and 
he has little uh, seizures now and then, and the guy still edits and produces and puts up a video every single day of his life. So, I mean, who am I? Like, I, I get up some mornings, and this is seriously what I do. I get up and I go, gosh, uh, what am I going to do for my video today? I don't really feel like doing a video today. And then I watch Charles Trippy and know that that guy at the end of the day is taking uh, chemotherapy medication. And who am I to say, oh, no, you know what? I'm not going to, nope, not going to make a video today. So he's so inspirational. And I just, every day I, I love watching him. He just, uh, it, it's, it really is great. I, I, I can't say enough. So, you know, I think um, Grace Helbig, I mean, let me tell you, this woman is so talented and so funny. She is kind of everything. Um, she started out doing uh, Monday through Friday videos every day. And now I think she does like three days a week. She wrote a New York Times bestselling book. She <laughs> just got a, a new television show that starts on April 3rd on E! Replacing uh, the Chelsea Lacey, Chelsea Late, Lately uh, show. It, it, she's doing. She's done movies. She's uh, she's just brilliant. She has a great podcast. I mean, I just am so inspired by her and Hannah Hart. If you don't watch Hannah Hart, uh, Mamory Hart, you deserve a drink. There's just it, it really. I could go on forever because every YouTuber I'm so inspired by uh, Shannon Coffee. She has a new uh, show called The Hey Hey Show. Love her. Um, if, if you haven't ever watched a Rob from I Hate Being Single, that guy is he's amazing. He's so creative and so good. I just there's such a world of creativity in YouTube and people that are so talented that it just it just never ends. I could just keep naming Rhett and Link, the Fine Brothers. I mean on and on and on. I could watch these guys. If I could, if if they said you're gonna be a vegetable and you could only sit there and watch things, what do you want to watch? I just say all my subscriptions on YouTube because they uh, Jenna Marbles. Uh, I don't know if you watch her boyfriend uh, Julian. He has a vlog, but it is the best because now Jenna Marbles has a vlog, <laughs> so. So and they're on Snapchat and it's just it's so much fun and and you know and there's another person on Snapchat Mackenzie Stith I have uh, friends that I'm making on uh, Snapchat that I didn't know before and so there's I'm always inspired by someone and YouTubers I couldn't I couldn't name just one that's my favorite I be crazy let's see uh, how many uh, how many videos have you made well I know. On this channel, there's like 375 videos. Um, I think I've taken down some videos because YouTube told me to. <laughs> uh, or I think I think it was I had a violation on one of my videos, and they told me that the only way to, to do it is to either make it private or delete it. So I just I took it off, but I didn't want to. <laughs> YouTube made me. So like 375 on this channel, and I think I have like maybe, I don't remember how many videos I made on my other channel, but I used to do weekly videos, and I have a couple other channels that, you know, were just side channels, side bays, but maybe like 400 something, so that's not a lot really, but it is, you know, it's crazy to think that I've made that many videos. Where did you get the pizza? This is a pizza place across the street from me, and it's really good. And they have them all over Portland. If you know uh, Pizza Schmitza, they're uh, they're awesome. I love them. Uh, I went over there, and I don't really go there a lot. It's weird. I have places in my neighborhood that I don't really frequent because the problem is, is as you see, I love pizza. So if I am eating pizza on the regular, I wouldn't just need to lose, you know. A little bit I would need I would be back to like a thousand pounds and I I don't think I you know I'm already worried about my weight enough uh, but you no know, pizza schmitza is really good um, blah, 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 blah. another question from you blah, 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 blah. You, you can ask him in the chat too right because these are from some of them are from tumblr 
And then, okay, let me go back to here. Let's see. I don't see the questions you're answering. G plus is the devil. <laughs> yeah, some of these are from Tumblr. Some of them from earlier today on um, uh, different different. Pl I, well, I got some from Reddit actually, which is a weird. I love Reddit, but it creeps me out too. Here's another one. Let's see. Do you comment on other people's videos? I do. I feel like I comment way too much. Like. And sometimes I feel like I should be commenting on my friends' videos and not YouTubers. Like, I just – here's the thing. I'm a sucker. Like, if somebody is down or they're really vulnerable on YouTube or they say something, I, I have to say – reach out to them and say something nice because I know that's what I want. Like, if I have a vulnerable thing and someone makes a nice comment to me, it means a lot. So I figure they're just human beings too. So, yeah, and I'll tell you, I don't know how to say this, but, like, I am compelled to reach out to people. I don't know why. It doesn't. I don't need to. I shouldn't. Uh, not everyone's like that. But for whatever reason, like, if I see a Wheezy Waiter video, there's another guy I love, Wheezy Waiter. He's so smart. The, the, the Vlog Brothers. I, now that I go back to that question of, like, what, who's your favorite – YouTuber, huh? Gosh, it's so impossible to answer. Um, but if Wheezy Waiter is doing something in a video that I really like, I'm I'm gonna go tell him, whether it's a message on Facebook or in his comments or whatever, I'm, and I will tell him why. But it's and and I always like to tell people how much they inspire me and da 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 da. da. And sometimes I know that they don't have they don't get to see those comments because they've got hundreds and thousands but yeah i do comment on other people's videos if you troll the comments of some of your favorite youtubers some of them that may not have a million comments you'll probably see me in there sometime i just feel like you got to support people that support you um yeah carly styles uh is an example um she follows people back and she is a fantastic example of uh, just everything like she is real, you know, like I really like her. She's um, a super strong woman, independent. She's a single mom. Um, she's out there doing her own thing, hustling. Uh, she She's doing clothing lines. She's doing workout stuff. She's doing all kinds of stuff, but still takes time to um, message me occasionally when, when, when I message her. And I think not everyone can do that, you know, but I think she just really is good and um, she gets it. And so I, that's what I try to do. If somebody messages me, I try to always message them back if I can. So let's see. Uh, oh, should we do – before we go any further, let's do like a vloggy. I'm going to do part part of a vlog. So uh, for – this is us vloggery. Okay, I'm going to bring up the screen. <laughs> okay, this will be in tomorrow's vlog. Hey, look, we're live on the on on YouTube. This is the Google Hangout. Did you watch it? If you didn't watch yesterday's Google Hangout, look at the and the doobly do the description. This is me shooting a video of me shooting a video. Wait, I just my brain just imploded. See, and then I'll edit that in to the magic of the vlog. Okay, so where were we? Okay, let's see. I love you guys. Seriously, it could be uh, just two people hanging out and it wouldn't bother me. But you guys are really cool. It It's awesome. If you have questions, you can ask me anything. Uh, <laughs> I just saw the picture. Here, let me show you. Can I – wait, if I do it on my phone, can you see it? Okay, I'm trying to figure out the best way to do it. Let's see. I want you to see this. I guess I could. No, I don't want to do that again. Do I? Yeah, I'll share my screen. That's what. I, that's what I'll do. Sharing my screen. This is cool. <laughs> I love this. Do 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 do. Okay, so if I share my screen, and can you see? Yeah, can you see that? Can you see it? Can you see it? There it is. There's my screen. <laughs> that is. That is what uh, Jessica put 
put on there. <laughs> that's funny. See, that, was that a smooth transition? I don't know. Like that was, that's like what you want on, on a TV show, right? Like, oh, that, no, wait, 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 okay, so then I go. So let's pretend like we're professionals, okay? Oh, yeah, well, oh, like, look, Jessica said this. This is a, we go on the, to the TV, whoop. Oh, so, oh, that means I'm on the TV. That's cool. Okay, I get it. Like, oh, man, I'm terribly sorry. Okay, now, so now we're back. See, this is what I would have done. I should have done. I should have uh, played, had a video <laughs> queued up to play, and then I could have eaten my pizza. <laughs> Da, 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 da. Okay, so I asked people, Facebook is weird because uh, sometimes people ask questions. I just, I, just, I love the internet in many ways and sometimes it frustrates me because I feel like, I, I feel like the people that say that they like what I do are less responsive than what their actions speak less loud than their words. Does that make any sense? Oh man. So let's see, here's a question. Uh, where does it? Okay. Um, girlfriend. Are you asking me if I'll be your girlfriend? Cause Oh yeah, of course I'm your internet girlfriend. Just tell people hashtag me. Yeah, I, I'm, I can even be your side bay. It doesn't uh, doesn't bother me. So yeah, no. Um, I am. Uh, I don't have a girlfriend, but I do know a girl who would be really mad if she heard me say that. Does that make any sense? No. Um, yeah, and and I've I've made mistakes before in the past by putting people on the internet that uh, that have uh, been in my life. But, um, okay, so so if I ask a question, so like, for instance, I'm sorry, I got distracted by something on Google Hangout. I was supposed to be answering about my girlfriend. So I, I just decided not to put her on videos yet. Well, it's, it's new, we're just getting to know each other, you know, a little, well, okay, so it's been over, it's been a while, but I just don't, I've, I've made mistakes before. And I've seen other people who kind of like feel like they have to, and I don't really feel like I have to. And so I'm happy to eventually maybe share more of that with the, the, the internet, but I've done it before and it just, it felt weird. So and sometimes it feels weird. And then sometimes I'm like, ah, eh, well, why, why not? And, and she's not opposed to uh, me using my uh, abilities of to the internet thing. So maybe, maybe it'll happen sooner than later. Maybe in year two, you'll get to see my girlfriend or maybe I'll keep her a mystery forever. But I don't, I say girlfriend. Anyway, uh, we're, we like each other. Is that, and, and I'm not, I, and sometimes I stay the night at her house. Is that, is that a, I don't know. I, I have a drawer. So I guess, yeah, I guess. Okay. Awkward pause. Okay, so let's see. If I select a question, do you get to see it on screen? Question selected. We haven't had the daylight savings change yet, and you can tell. Blah, 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 I've called way worse than both. Oh. Oh, so wait. So, okay, hold on a second. Now I've, That's Beth. She is in uh, uh, the UK. Let's ask Siri what time it is in London. Siri, what time is it in London right now? In London, England, it's 10.52 p.m. No. Oh, okay. Well, there you go. It's 10.52 p.m. In, in uh, eight minutes, Big Ben will be bonging, right? Every hour on the hour? Okay, I don't know. What? what why did I have to mention that? Let's see. Um, or, there's so many questions. Oh, wait. What is the best donut place in Portland? Oh God, <laughs> that's an that's a re that's a trick question because um, one time Voodoo Donut put a curse on me, so I don't want to say anything bad about them because I, I feel like that curse may have affected my life in some way, and I, I just really feel like it's important for me to have a good vibes right now. So they are the best, but I like others too. 
Um, I wonder if the guys at Voodoo Donut ever eat other donuts. If you're not from Portland, Voodoo Donut is kind of a famous place. And Portland is, I'll tell you this. When I moved to Portland, it wasn't New Portland. It wasn't famous Portland. It was just a cool city that uh, people love to live in. And um, now it's like this nationally known destination place where you got to go to Voodoo Donut. You got to go here. You got to go check this out. But it wasn't, there wasn't a lot. There wasn't like, there was like maybe a handful of food carts when I first moved here. There, the huge, honk and huge burrito was like the original food cart in Portland and it's still there. And then, you know, there was just, it's so like, well, you know, like I could, I could Google like hipster and that's like the Portland hairdo. Like if I say hip, like just, let me just, let me just Google hipster for you because just because I want to, and I'm trying to waste some time. Hipster. There we go. Now, if I do this, can I view picture? I just want to view the picture, though. Here we go. All right. So, okay, here we go. Then what I do is I go to Google Hangout, and I go, oh, I would like to show you my screen. Here it is. That is the Portland right there. This this whole scenario, that's like every other dude with the tattoos, with the, and they may not be wearing this, it could just be a t-shirt, but this is every other guy in Portland. So yeah, it's, it's, it's okay. I mean, it's not a bad look or anything, but it's just like after, you know, everyone thinks they're so unique, but if everyone looks the same way, how weird are you? Because Portland is supposed to be like a weird place. Sometimes it just, you know, sometimes Portland is too into itself, overly, like, in a, not in a, like, a fun way. Like, I don't, I love Portland, too, obviously. I'm back here after moving away for four years. Oh, more questions. Where do you work? You're looking at it right here. This is, well, I, well here's, here's what I do. I do, um. YouTube videos, and then I do uh, microphoning with uh, with my with my mouth thing, and I, I do uh, voiceovers, and that's uh, how yeah, that's how I get by with YouTube and voice stuff. So yeah, I'm a voice actor, voice actress, whatever. I do all kinds of. Can I? I can't really. If I play it, I have to switch microphones. Let's see. Uh, somebody says um, they disagree. It's an awful look. Ooh, a draw. <laughs> now, I'm, now I'm reading comments as they come in. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> yeah, you know, I think in a relationship, if you have a drawer at your uh, significant other's place, then it, you're kind of you're, you're more than just a friend, right? You're more than like... <sighs> Here's the thing. I've moved... I've... I find... That my biggest fear in a relationship is isn't commitment, isn't being committed in a relationship because I think that's you know grow up already you know, but um, it's that uh, the fun ends at some point and then and then what? And the, the idea is to keep having fun. If you can do that, then great. But the the problem is is investing so much of your time only to get to the point and realize this isn't fun anymore. Okay, next. And that's not what you want to do with your life. I don't want to keep uh, bringing someone in only to be replaced two years later because it's not fun anymore. And, I, and you know, when you're in a relationship, you kind of feel like, well, maybe it's me. Like, maybe I'm the guy that's uh, making this not. Maybe it's not them, but who knows? I'm weird, so any uh, girl or any uh, person that uh, can either be my friend or uh, in a relationship with me. I think it, it's uh, there, there's something wrong with them. So uh, <laughs> really, mm, mm. uh oh, uh oh. Yeah, I always I watch Google Hangouts a lot when uh, like Mamrie Hart does them. She always seems to be having way more fun than me. <laughs> and Grace and Mamrie, if you've ever watched a live Google Hangout with Grace and Mamrie, 
on the on the YouTubes. Uh, th those girls know what the heck they're doing. They're they're funny. Um, uh, let's see here. Oh, good lord! <sighs> you know the, the thing is too about YouTube, and I, I, I'm just saying this because you know I read comments and uh, on uh, Tumblr seems to get weird and um, uh, Reddit and um, uh, people messaging me on uh, Snapchat and stuff like that and and every day you meet uh, new people and it's kind of cool that these people like you or they don't like you but for whatever reason they're watching you in some way and and you get to connect with people that you didn't even know uh, before and that's that's the whole point of social media and i feel that youtube may not be always considered as social media but what is more social than me making a video and you commenting on it and then us becoming friends through that. That's social, right? So YouTube is like one of my favorites. Uh, so I had to pick a social media. Um, I think that was a question I was trying to answer that I didn't actually ask over this. Yeah, what is your favorite social media? Oh, yeah, so YouTube because I, I really feel like it is. But if I had to pick between like anything but YouTube, I would say Snapchat right now is my favorite because it's fun. And that's the whole point of it, right? I Facebook, I don't get because it's like everyone's mom and people reposting the same regurgitated, boring videos that you've seen a million times. Oh, what, what does that mean? Oh, look, look what that says right there. Publish video. I can't tell you how many times that's happened <laughs> that I published one at four o'clock Pacific. <laughs> It almost never happens. <laughs> Seriously, I tried to get on a schedule of making a video uh, the day before and then publishing it the next morning. That's happened maybe a couple of times. When I first started my first few videos, I got a full week ahead. And then, and this is uh, something somebody may be able to help me with. I don't know. I'm no longer able to schedule my videos. And I've gone to YouTube. This is... YouTube is kind of awful in a lot of ways. It's great. Like, I love the fact that I can put myself out there. I love that I can talk to you right now live on YouTube. It's awesome. But then there are aspects like one day my account was like, it told me that I uh, wasn't able to monetize my account. And you go to message them or con communicate. And it's like impossible. There's not an 800 number you can just call someone and talk to a person, you've got to talk to an automated response that they have set up and it just doesn't, so you don't, you don't even know why or what's going on, but it, they, they can just shut you off or, you know, pull the plug. And so now for whatever reason, I can't schedule my videos. I used to be able to like, Hey, I make a video and then tomorrow morning, this will publish at 8 50 AM, blah, blah, blah. I can't. So, now my videos are just up willy nilly, <laughs> and it's it's annoying. Uh, maybe in year two, Google will help me out. I'll finally get a hold of them. So, uh, YouTube people, if you're watching right now, anybody at Google, please uh, send me a message. Uh, you know, my email is Marconi Baloney at Gmail. You can spell it. You can email me. Um, let's see. B -b 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 oh, favorite. Yeah. So Snapchat's my favorite uh, social media. Then Twitter. Then Instagram, I think. I I don't love Instagram either, but I would say my least favorite has to be Twitter. Oh, no, I'm sorry, at Facebook. Just because it's so convoluted, and every time you turn around, there's like, like for instance, that whole story, and I did it yesterday in, the, in a video, is they took away a fat emoji because people that are body positive feel that they're saying fat is not a feeling. And it's like, could we stop taking everything seriously and just relax a little bit on stuff? Like, I, I understand you may have a point in certain directions, but at the same time, I don't think that Facebook put it on there thinking, oh, we're going to fat shame people. People ruin everything is what I'm saying. Those the, the people that are body positive, be body positive, but don't for Like, if I feel fat and I want to express it, then I should. So... I, that's that's why I made one of my my profile the the fat emoji.
because that's how I feel right now. I've, I've had two pieces of pizza and I'm drinking liquid bread and it's delicious. Um, uh, 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 uh. No, I, you know, making YouTube videos every day, I love it. I wouldn't do anything else. Uh, I really, it's, it's something that I never really knew that, uh, well, I kind of in the back of my mind always knew I wanted to do, but never really knew until I started doing it every day, like how much I loved it. And that's the sign right there. Like if I were in it going, and this is why people that talk to me don't understand. People don't look at things the same as I do. They look at how many views do you get? How many likes? How many comments? How many subscribers? Numbers. That's all they care about. And their numbers don't lie kind of people. And, and that is so basic because if you don't develop something over time and get better at it or develop a skill and not have to rely on something monetarily, that's the thing. Is these people may be business people, and I applaud them because it's a business is not an easy thing. But if you're making YouTube videos for business and that's it, you you're doing it wrong. It's it's meant to be. For, YouTube is fun, and everything about it is great and fun and awesome. So I I just make the videos because I love doing it, and so when people come to me and go, so what are you doing now? And I'm like, well, I make YouTube video every day. Oh yeah, so what's your job? I, I make a YouTube video every day. I'm like, oh, that's a you can get paid to do that? Y yes, actually, yeah, you can. And um, yeah, so they just look at you weird. And I've had people very close to me in my life going, what are you, what are you doing? Like you're, you have this radio career. What do you, why are you, is, is there a reason why you are not as driven to do that as you are to make the videos on YouTube? And here is why, and I say this to a lot of people, is in radio, just like anything uh, that's not just your own thing, uh, you have uh, people analyzing what you do and asking you, do you think you could do it better and blah, blah, blah. Well, I'm already doing that in my head anyway. I'm trying to be the best I can. And so on YouTube, I get to do that at my own speed as where radio is dependent on, you know, paying the bills and uh, keeping the lights on and they've got to answer to a corporate place and they've got all these different filters that you have to go through just to do a radio show. And then on top of that, like, you know, you're supposed to be entertaining. On YouTube, I just get to do whatever I want to do. Oh, I'm for a second, I thought I was getting uh, notices. For people invite me to stuff on. Can I shut that off? Let's see. I was getting notices for. Um, I get notices all the time on Facebook, and it's so annoying. Anyway, but like I always think, like with YouTube, you have uh, so um, you just love it because when people don't understand that and they look at you weird, like why, why, why would make you want to do a video every day? That's a lot of work. You know, you're not getting paid. To do that, like, well, I do. Here's the thing: for over a year, I have gotten more experience than anybody could have ever taught me. I've learned more about making YouTube videos than I I could have taken a class, but I would have never learned what I've learned. Like making a video every day and having that deadline of like, hey, before midnight, wherever you are, every day, you are gonna put up a video on YouTube and let people look at it if they want. And if not, you learned a new technique. So I try to learn something each and every video. And creating content every day isn't easy. And um, I, I guess it can, it's easier than a lot of things, but I mean, when you're trying to, when you really feel like you wanna be entertaining and you wanna put yourself out there, I think it's important. So, I mean, I really do my best every day to, to make a better video than the day before. That's all you really can do, right? Um, what else? What's your favorite breakfast food? Oh man! Ah, oh, sweet, savory. Just I want all of them. That's my problem in life. Like people always want me to like choose one or two things, and I'm like, Ugh, there's so many good things. 
and it's, it's the struggle. The struggle is real. <coughs> I love uh, pancakes. I love waffles. I love um, savory items, omelets, uh, eggs benedict. There's so many delicious foods that I – but breakfast, yeah. I don't understand people that don't love breakfast food. Have you ever met anybody that – doesn't, somebody told me on Twitter the other day that they didn't love breakfast food, and I was like, really? What's, what, you must have a, like a really limited knowledge of breakfast foods because um, it's, it's pretty awesome. So I don't know. Uh, oh, sorry, I'm going to switch another beverage. I just hope, I hope that's okay. I just, mm. ah. and, and by the way, if you're having a beverage at home and I'm having a beverage at home, Wait, I screwed that up. What, whenever I'm having a beverage, when I do this, I'm just like, hey, how's it going? Like, ah, that's, that's your cue at home there to enjoy a beverage yourself. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, so I don't know. All I say is do what you love doing and keep doing that because I am a very happy person. And I think that after a year of doing daily YouTube videos, I've learned so much about myself. Uh, I feel like anything that I put my mind to, I can actually do. Like if I'm really set on, you know, going to the gym every day, I'll do it. I've done it before. I, I just, you know, if I really am set on like how can I make a better video or how can I get more views, I know I can do it because – all, all it is is like you've got to work to get where you want to go and nothing should be handed to you. And if it is, I hope that you appreciate it in some way because I certainly appreciate every one of you being on here. And you know what? There might be people in traditional media that look at the numbers of my channel and go, oh, well, fun little hobby. Uh, but what they, don't, what they don't see is me growing – these people from a cultivated, like, you know, I started with 500 my first year and then it grew and then it grew. And then before you know it, you've created your own little army of people that are so loyal to you and will never go away because they've been with you for so long that you're their friend and your friendship is a bond that you have uh, with that person. And so thank you guys for giving me that confidence in myself and uh, because you guys see me as a person and not like a lot of people from radio will uh, treat me like a persona. And um, the great thing about YouTube is everyone just treats you like a person. And that's the best feeling in the world. And that's all I ever wanted. And so making these videos and being able to connect with you guys every day is the coolest thing ever. Now, if I could just figure out how to get rid of these black circles, I'd be great. So... <laughs> No, and you know I never talk about insecurities and stuff because I always I always try to portray a certain level of confidence because I feel like uh, you want to be an inspiration to people on uh, YouTube. But I also know that sometimes you can um, be inspirational by just being real. I, so many of the people that I love let the, allow you got to allow yourself to be vulnerable sometimes. And you know I have I'll tell you just for the people that are watching this, my vulnerabilities are this. I know that there are many people doing YouTube that are a lot younger than me that have that on their side because it's – there's not everyone that's, you know, my age out there trying to do YouTube videos. Usually they're on a television or something like that. But I love this medium so much that I don't feel like, you know, ageism is a thing for me. I don't if, – if people don't like me, then they need to look at themselves. Because uh, I, I have a lot of I have a lot of wisdom from just doing things wrong <laughs> that I feel I, ha I I can help people. So you know what, what are you gonna do? Uh, so let's see. Um, how much time do you spend making your videos from idea to posting? Ooh. Oh, look. That's a uh, I. That's Gary. Hi, Gary. Uh, the man shape. It's a question from the man shape. You know, it really differ. It, it, every day is different. Like some days could be six hours, and and it's not always. Here's what I do: I script it out, and sometimes I have the idea the day before, and then I I write 
the script of it and I kind of study that so I kind of know the outline of it. And when I'm doing the video, I'm memorizing it and then talking to the camera because I don't do the thing where I'm looking at the script and trying to be on camera at the same time. So I'll read it, know what I'm going to say, and then I'll go, blah, 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 blah. And then when you see those cuts, that's because <laughs> I can't memorize more than a, like a sentence or two. <laughs> so, so that's when the jump cuts happen. It's not just because they tell you that you're supposed to make jump cuts in your video. It's because I can't remember more than like one sentence <laughs> at a time. <laughs> so lame. But no, like I, so then I'll spend a good you know, like 30 minutes or so probably making the thumbnail, which sounds like a lot of time, but I realized that the more I spend on the thumbnail, the more uses I can get out of it and I can promote it on all different platforms of social media. And that's like, woo, that's the billboard for the day. And I can use it in the video and at the beginning and the end. And it kind of snazzes things up a little bit and it kind of gets people's attention a little more. So I learned, you know, from watching other people do really great thumbnails that maybe I need to step up my thumbnail game. So that adds some time. But yeah, I would say the most probably eight hours. And um, it depends too, because like if it's like a vlog of my life, then that's just like little snippets throughout the day. And then I edit them together. And those, those vlogs are actually easy to do. Um, easier, I should say, because sometimes... Like I know, like Charles Trippy, he literally shoots like I don't know, like his whole day, like ninety percent of the day, and then he'll give you ten minutes of that. I actually just you, I shoot what I I shoot most of everything like on my vlogs outside on my phone, and that's what you get, like what I shoot. And so, and sometimes I omit stuff I, that doesn't go on, but most of the time, like I. I just have it in my head because I'm a production person, like audio production. So I always visualize things in a in a visual medium. I always my whole life. So I know what I'm looking for when I turn the camera on. I go, oh, this is gonna be funny, and then I know the out, and then I trim everything up and arrange it the way I think it would be good in a vlog. Am I moving my hands too much? Anyway, so yeah, I, I love making the videos and uh, I wanted to go back to do more life vlogs but um i think what happens next in my my thing is going to be my thing what happens next in my future is going to be uh, more of that wow how does it feel <laughs> to be a, a one year old did it go fast or slow yeah you know it's funny because it really seems like i can't even believe where i am like a year ago i was sitting in my apartment in Denver, and um, I had a roommate, if you remember. Um, and my ex-girlfriend lived with me, and she moved back to Canada. And then all of, after that, it seems like a blur. Then I remember I, I moved from Denver to Portland. <laughs> so yeah, it just seems like it just happened, you know? That's why people always say, you know, enjoy your life because it happened so fast. It seems like just yesterday that I was just starting adulthood and now here I am an adult and I don't, I don't, I don't feel like an adult really every day, but no, but yeah, it goes by, it goes by really fast. I think that YouTube, um, the one thing, and I've told this to somebody before, when you are, a full-time employee somewhere and that's like what your routine is and you get used to a schedule like you get up I mean when I did the morning show um, on radio here it was like you get up at 3 30 you go into work you do your job you come home you try to like take a nap or whatever and then you're like oh god I gotta make a video ah! and then you take the footage for the day so you get into routines and what I found too is like um, when YouTube is your main source of a uh, thing that takes your day up, it's great because it, I just always think you keep doing something, creating something, and it, and it really helps you because it's therapeutic um, because I know every day, no matter how bad my day is or if I'm not feeling it, that I'm putting a video up regardless. So I've got to turn it on at some point and 
what whatever that is, it does something good for me that gives me that extra uh, positive thing in my life. So if I'm having a bad day or if I'm bummed out because, you know, oh yeah, remember when you first came to Portland and you were doing this, this, and this, and now you're kind of just sitting in your apartment talking to a camera every day? I think, well, yeah, but at least I have the camera to talk to. And at least, um, you know, I'm not dead. <laughs> so I don't know what I, I guess what I mean is every day I have this project before me and it gets my mind going and it gets me excited and it makes me think, yeah, well, I'm going to do this video and that's keeps you busy, you know, and it doesn't give you a lot of time to just think about bad things or get bummed out or whatever. So you're constantly just creating. And I, I always feel like, and it's not avoiding problems. I mean, my, my problems are many. I mean, just look at me. Uh, but, uh, but I think that if you have uh, something in your life that je that just really keeps you going. That's important, right? And um, I love my friends. I wish I could spend more time with them. The thing is, is I have all this downtime, and they are all very busy. So, you know, I hang out with them when I can. But I think so. That's what I mean. You have to. Here's the thing I've learned in this last year. I'm very good at being alone if I need to be, and when I if I'm not. Um, then I'm good at that too, but I'm happy either way. Like some people are really like, I have to be with someone or around people all the time. I'm, I'm not like that at all. I like being around people, but um, uh, I also just like downtime and turning up, watching a marathon of House of Cards. That's the best, right? You know, and um, so I don't know. I, I even get annoyed by my cat sometimes because <laughs> little tiny always wants to be on top of me. And I don't know how to describe this. People that own cats probably know that cats don't give a crap about your personal space. They just want what they want. And if they, if your head is where they want to lay and you're in the middle of the sleep, they're happy to just t make your head their bed. And it's, normal to them it's no big deal but you but then uh, sometimes it's okay to get annoyed by cats because i feel like they're so, my my cats are sweet creatures and little tiny is like the sweetest cat ever um there's not like one like ounce of bitchiness in her nala is a different story she's like a, a, a cat but nala is like the sweetest cat too like she's a big chunk and i tell her every day how happy I am that she's part of my life and you know the way that she came to me because she came to me because my ex-girlfriend uh, moved back to Canada and was allergic to cats and stuff like that so um, I don't know I'm I feel like I'm I always goof on being a cat having cats but um, I love it like my my cats I'd love to have a dog too but um, I kind of feel like in a one-bedroom apartment my, my you don't know if you can tell this is kind of a small space having even a little puppy and two cats one of them my I mean little tiny is 16 years old and uh, she's not like a bitch but um, her and Nala don't exactly get along so if I brought a puppy an excited energetic puppy that annoyed little tiny and Nala I, I don't think that would be a good combination so you know maybe with time I'll get a puppy that's what I want. Just a little dog. Well, wait, wait, look out, internet. Once I get a puppy, oh, and, and start showing uh, the, 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 what, I, I don't know. Do I have it? Should I have a name to introduce the, because if I call her girlfriend, I mean, that's official, right? And I don't, it, it's weird because I feel like as soon as I start saying this is my girlfriend, then that's when the timer, you flip that sand, the, the, the time capsule thing and it's, this, it just the, the fun is starts draining out. But if you don't have a title, then you can just keep having fun forever. You know, like how a lot of people don't like to get married. They just like to coexist together, and that's fine for some people. I'm perfectly okay with it. My family wants me to have 10 kids before I die because there aren't enough people in the world. So I'm always, because I'm the oldest of, of five, four, wait, five siblings, yeah. Oh, God. And um, uh, the only boy. So I guess I'd be the only one carrying on the family name. 
And uh, my, they always think that I need to have like five or six kids. And I always end up dating someone that is not into the whole kid thing. And oh, seriously, though, it's very telling when you date someone and they can not be into kids and that's fine. But when they really like amp it up around you and they, I do not, that says a lot about what they think of you sometimes. <laughs> They're like, I don't really want a kid because I already got you in my life. So it's good. I'm fine. That's, oh, man. Anyway, that's TMI, I'm sure. Uh, so I, I think you guys for watching, I think uh, maybe I should wrap it up, shut her down, call it a, a night. But this is one. This is what one year of daily uh, YouTubing looks like. How's it going? Hey, cheers. Really nice to... Hey, how is it? We'll have one time for one more question. Uh, let's see. Do I have any more? So many questions on here, you guys. She's your fun buddy. Labels are flexible. <laughs> fun buddy? I don't know fun buddy. <laughs> I don't know if she'd like fun buddy as the <laughs> label. I like... Uh, I like JJ Babel's name for her significant other. She calls him the man shape. I think that's a, a, a very en endearing term. Um, I just keep seeing the thing moving. Do I, am I missing a messages? Do I come in from the bottom? Where I, sadly, I'm still at work. Okay, applause. Hey, next year when I do, when I do <laughs> my next Google Hangout, <laughs> maybe we'll have 20 people. <laughs> in the chat room. No, you guys are awesome. I really appreciate you, and uh, thank you for watching my videos. Make sure and always comment because I read every single comment, and um, even if you go back and watch the, you know, I don't care. Like I'm a person who watches videos as they come out a lot of times, but I know not everyone does. I know mo most people that watch my videos will be like, "Oh, I got to catch up," because when you make a video every day, it's hard. I I love Charles Trippy. There are days when I don't get to watch his videos, and I'll just well, excuse me, I'm about burped. Um, uh, pardon, disgraciad. Uh, but uh, but then you catch up with it because it's YouTube. But I always try to leave a comment regardless. And if you guys do the same thing, uh, that always means a lot to me when I see your comments. And uh, I always try to comment back. Sometimes, at the very least, I give you a thumbs up on your comment because can you see? I don't even know. On YouTube, when I thumbs up your comment, can you tell it's me? I wish you could, because it is. <laughs> anyway, I don't know. I'm just babbling on and on at this point. Uh, thank you, guys. You guys inspire me to keep going. Um, and uh, I love doing YouTube, and I don't have any plans to uh, stop. I think year two, I'm just going to try to get better, maybe upgrade my equipment from uh, a webcam or a, uh, uh, my phone. So... Um, oh yeah, like the. <laughs> can you see these? <laughs> yeah, the, these were on earlier, and they were way too bright. Like this is like, hey, you want to do a you want to do a thing? Ah! <laughs> oh wow. So yeah, this is a lot of fun. You guys are awesome, and I think I'm gonna end now. But um, on to year two. Can you believe tomorrow is the start of year two of my daily videos? I don't even. I don't even know how to, how that even, wow. Well, oh, oh, see, here's another comment. Oh, could you please give an acceptance speech? <laughs> I don't really know. Did I win something? All right, let's see. L luckily, I have my uh, my Grammy Award right here. If you watched my uh, video with about Beck and the Grammy Award. Um, well, I, I'd like to thank, uh, well, everyone, really, all three of you for watching my videos daily. It really means a lot. And, uh, wow, this is heavier than I thought it would be. Um, uh, making daily videos for a whole year is, uh, is not always easy because you get up and you don't really always want to do it. But the one thing I learned is uh, anything uh, worth doing is harder than it seems. Wait, because if every and if anybody could just do this, they would. And I, sure, you can make a couple of videos now and then, or make a weekly one until you get bored of it, and maybe nobody's watching, so you're like, "Screw this!" But try doing that for a year <laughs> and having five people comment or something. Yeah, uh, that really shows that you do want to do it. And so I accept this award award very proudly on the behalf of the five people that watch my videos with regularity. 
and the rest of you who watch them sometimes. It, it means a lot to me whenever you watch, and uh, you know this, this award really goes to you. Is, was that a good speech? Yay! I think I can do applause, can I? Oh, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna search for that. <laughs> we ain't got time for that. I've already been, how long have I been on? It's been on like over an hour, right? Oh my God, like an hour and a half. Well, I've, I've gone over time. You're gonna miss your late local news. Um, so I, seriously though, you guys, thank you for joining me today, for watching my videos. If you haven't subscribed to my channel and all that, blah, blah, blah. And, uh, maybe we could do one of these every once in a while. I like the Google Hangouts. It's fun and easy. And, uh, maybe next time I, I'll have multiple people in here and we'll just have an actual pizza party. That pizza is so good. I seriously, it's taken every, because, because I'm celebrating today. It's taking everything from me not just go across the street and get more pizza. <laughs> I bought two pieces and I'm like, that's enough. You're not going to, you know, get because they're pizzas. It's like gigantic. So I was like, I'll just get a couple of slices and that'll be fine. So, yeah. <sighs> Thank you for watching. Toodles.